Hello and welcome to another Artful Bodger video. In today's video we're going to go through the configuration of the screen that goes with the Tongsheng TSD Z2 mid-drive motor unit. Stay watching. Okay, so in case you didn't know, I've actually made a few other videos on the TSD Z2, uh, the unboxing, and also two videos on how I fitted it to this donor bike. If you'd like to see those videos, there should be a link appearing about here. Um, feel free to go back and have a watch of those. One of the things that I didn't get when I got my kit was any kind of instructions on how to configure that screen. So um, I've done a bit of detective work and discovered that the screen is actually a VLCD5 although there is nothing on the screen to suggest that's what it's called. And as I say, I didn't receive any kind of instructions. So hopefully this video will be useful for anyone else in the same boat. So let's uh, get in and actually start configuring. Okay, so this button here turns the screen on. It also, once the screen's on, turns the light on if you want. Now, uh, to get into the setup menu, you push the I and the power button together for three seconds until you see that and then you push I, I, I and then we're in setup mode. You set the diameter of your wheel which in my case is 28 by the plus and minus and confirm with I. That's the number of magnets. Then you can change whether you want miles per hour or kilometers per hour. I prefer miles because I live in the UK. So just change that. That is the um, assistance when you're walking which you can turn on or off and can't change that that's the amount of power that goes into the motor European or Japanese speed limit 25 miles an hour and that's off and I don't know what that one is actually oh that's the um, the uh, version of the software and then we're back to normal other things to just note you can control the um, assistance level here all the way from nothing, eco, tour, speed and turbo. I tend to use speed, but then I quite like a lot of assistance. The lower you go there, of course, the, uh, the lower the level there, the more battery you get. And then you've also got your trip. To reset that, you push and hold. Your average speed is next. And your time. You've also got control of what you're looking at here, the odometer currently is 26 miles because that's how many miles I have done. To reset that, you hold down these three here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up subscribe and if you'd like to be notified when other videos like this are uploaded hit that notification bell uh, thanks for watching and i shall see you on the next one cheers